you have to understand that whenever you add a library to your code base, you actually add technical debt. Yes, you heard it right. Whenever you add a library to your application, you add technical debt. It's a technical debt. It's a debt that at a certain point, most probably will need to be paid off. Now, this is not something inherently bad because as in real life, we might actually need to go into some debt at some point. However, there are things to consider because it is one thing to, for instance, I don't know, go into debt or take a loan to open a new business or maybe to buy a house. And it is a totally other thing to go into debt to buy the new iPhone or to buy a new BMW. Because at least in Romania, people, they go really into debt to buy iPhones and BMWs, which I think, well, it doesn't really make sense. And it's the same for coding. Like, okay, if you need to do some stuff that's really hard to implement, like image processing, obviously I wouldn't then try to create my own image processing library. I would go and use image sharp for that, but obviously I would also make sure that I pay for that. Even if I don't make six figures out of it, it's normal and it's okay if you make something out of, of that library to actually give something back and contribute and sponsor that specific library. However, when it comes to the result pattern, it's actually very, very simple. So we just need very simple functionality. Is it really a good idea to go into technical depth for a functionality that you can implement virtually in five minutes, no more than that? From my point of view, this is not a great option and therefore I always prefer to use my own result implementation. 